Greetings everyone, welcome back to the bench. Have a little pop-up problem here. I have this EEV blog meter that was sent in to me. And well, that's a pretty good meter. I like some of the features, it seems accurate. I really like that 15 volt diode check mode. But I noticed one thing with it, it goes through batteries pretty quick. I checked the manual and it's supposed to draw around 5 milliamps and uh, last 500 hours with alkaline batteries and well I have other meters on my bench that I use so I kind of share the usage kind of split up the usage I probably only use this thing maybe an hour a week if that I mean how long do you uh, unless you're really into a, a project pretty deep how long do you use the meter I usually turn it on and you know, measure something. I do often leave it on and it shuts itself off after half hour or whatever the time is. It does shut off. I haven't defeated that. But yeah, I mean, uh, I should barely be into the first set of batteries. Uh, alkaline batteries, I don't know exactly what their capacity is. Maybe like 2500 milliamp hours. Something in that neighborhood. I'd have to look it up. 2,500 divided by 5 milliamps is 500 hours. That's probably where they calculated that from. It depends on the load on the battery as well. You know, heavy versus a lighter load will affect its actual milliamp hour rating. But anyhow, yeah, just this thing just eats through batteries. I went through two sets of batteries. One thing I noticed after I last used it, I, I quit using it because it just goes through batteries. I saw the little battery indicator, I turned it off, set it aside for a couple weeks. I uh, picked it up one day, turned it on, it was dead. Took out the batteries, checked the voltage, completely zero volts. It just sucked them dry, even though it was turned off. So, yeah, I'm not sure what's going on there, but what I'm going to do is uh, see if I can measure its power draw. I'll hook up some batteries and uh, see if I can put a meter on here and measure its current. We are being supervised by the Snickers, who's uh, not really paying attention right now. I hooked up the supply here. It's not a bipolar type. I can see the little spring connectors going down to the circuit board under the connector right there you might be able to see that none on that side so it's uh, not a bipolar type supply so we're okay there uh, this thing says the fuse 2 must be the fuse for the milliamp mode is out not getting continuity with this and that thing's broke what happened? This is lovely Chinese stuff. Not having good luck with meters here. I need to get something going here real quick. Here's that meter alligator clip. I have enough solder on there. It just broke loose. Fits on like that. Now, well, I guess I'll just desolder it. I don't have a fuse for the other meter. I wonder what happens if you mix lead-based solder with whatever this crap is. Lead-free, probably. Form some alloy that doesn't work too well. I'll probably have to just clean this up and re-solder it. Okay, I got the alligator clip problem straightened out. So these fresh batteries here. And we'll just monitor what current this thing draws. Let me get this set up here. So I'll turn it on. There's the firmware. It starts out like at 9 milliamps and it drops off to around 7 milliamps and that's fine. I mean that's that's pretty low. Let's see what the light draws. Turn the backlight on. I don't really use the backlight but to see what it draws. So now we're drawing about 18. And 
uh, what happened? I lost connection. Okay, camera tripod thing here. Pulled the wires off when I was moving it. Let's try in different modes. Let's put it into diode check mode. That already is. So it's still about the same. So let's go into the 15 volt. So it's got to run a boost mode power supply in there. And eh, still, it's not a lot. 13. So I'll turn that back to 3. So it drops back. So I'm going to just flip through the rest of the modes here. off of course so I'll turn it on here and what I'm going to do and just let it time out so what I think is going to happen is when it times out and shuts down there's still going to be a draw that uh, vampires on the battery it draws the batteries down Okay, I let the thing run, and it finally timed out. Of course, it turned itself off, but look at this. It's still drawing 5 milliamps, and it's, <laughs> and it's supposed to be shut down. What would cause that? Well, could it be the firmware not properly putting the processor into sleep mode? Or maybe there's some other part that's not shutting down properly? Now I walk away from my other meters and let them shut themselves down and they don't run the batteries down. So something is definitely wrong here. This thing is drawing quite a bit of current when it's off. Well, I pulled a little memory card out of it and it about cut the draw in half. Well, pretty much in half. That's strange, but it's still drawing quite a bit of current. So what I'm going to try now, I'm going to turn the thing back on, wake it back up, and let's see what happens. I'll let it time out again and see if it still draws that 2.5 milliamps. Another thing I noticed, now that it's on without the card installed, it's drawing a couple milliamps less. So the uh, card reader function in this thing causes it to draw extra current, probably uh, powering the uh, controller chip inside this memory card. Okay, I let it shut down again, this time without the memory card, and it's drawing 2 milliamps. And still, that's excessive. It should be just a few microamps. So there's something up with this meter. Like I said, either it's the microprocessor that's not going into sleep mode properly, or there's some other part that's not shutting down, you know, something in the power supply. So if you happen to have this meter, if you could check it out, see how much power it's drawing after it automatically shuts down. So I guess I can go ahead and use this. I just have to remember to turn it off after I'm done with it, not let it time out on its own because you know it's still drawing significant current well that'll do it for this one thanks for watching